Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So we have discussed about the Kepler's problem for parabola and ellipse uh, or the parabolic and elliptic orbit. The hyperbolic orbit is remaining, but before that we do one pro more problem and uh, we have some other issues that I want to discuss. So let us uh, start with the problem first. So here uh, the problem is given that prove that earth takes two days more than half a year to travel over half of its orbit separated by minor axis away from the sun. So, what is the problem that uh, so this is the center C focus is somewhere say here in this point F and uh, this is your minor axis. So, what it is telling that prove that earth takes two days more than half a year to travel over half of its orbit separated by minor axis away from the sun. So, what it is telling in effect that this is half of the orbit this is the separated by ma minor axis so away from the sun and the sun is located here so you have the sun here in this point this is sun okay and earth is going around in the orbit okay. so away from the sun means we are talking about this area so covering let us say this is a this is p and uh, we can write this as A, B, P and C, we will write here F and C. So, we will name this as C and if time taken to cover the area or ship the area means the suppose the satellite starts from this place and it goes all the way up to here ok. So, starting from B and it is going to C. So, let us say that cover the area this area shown in pink shown in pink. So, it takes time time taken to cover the area and we will note this area as A 1. Okay. So, cover the area A 1 is T 1. Then the time taken time taken to cover the area A 2 this will write as A 2 area A 2 which is nothing but we will show this as F C A B cover the area A 2 is then the time taken is T 2 equal to T 1 plus 2 this is what has to be proved means 2 days more. So, now I am going to hash this area A 2. So, you can see that in the orange I am hashing this area and covering this area the it takes 2 more days than the pink one. Okay. That means, the sweeping this area by the radius vector it will take 2 more days. This is what we need to prove. So, delta f c a b this area can be written as area b f c which is triangle plus area 
सी ए बी ओके एंड दिस एरिया द ट्रियंगल एरिया बी एफ सी दिस विल बी वन बाई टू दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वन बाई टू टाइम्स दिस बेस बेस लेंथ बी सी टाइम्स दिस डिस्टेंस सी एफ टाइम्स सी एफ प्लस वेयर सी एफ इज नथिंग बट ए एज वी नो फॉर फ्रॉम आवर डिस्कशन अबाउट द एलिप्स एंड बी सी इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू टू बी एंड एरिया सी ए बी सो दिस इज हाफ ऑफ द एलिप्स एरिया सो वन बाई टू टाइम्स पाई ए बी पाई ए बी इज द एरिया ऑफ द एलिप्स so all the things are available here so if we insert so this becomes 1 by 2 bc equal to 2b and cf equal to ae plus 1 by 2 pi ab so we have uh, the area if c a b area f c a b and this becomes 1 by 2 2 cancels out so there is a factor of 2 so we'll remove that and simply we use this see here we have we are in this place Two two cancels out, so A B E plus one by two pi A B. A B E plus one by two pi A B. So now we have to compute. Uh, so uh, this is the area we have done just now. Okay, and let us write this as delta A. so delta a equal to this is the quantity okay. so and what is this area this is half of the ellipse already we have written so this area is known to us now time period equation already we know this is 2 pi divided by 2 pi and square root a q by mu under root and from there we have got the mean angular rate omega to be 2 pi by t equal to mu by a q under root this is what we have got so once we get this mean angular rate we will be able to solve the problem now also we know that a dot the rate of sweep of area this is nothing but h by 2 so these informations are available to us and we have to solve this problem so we have delta a equal to pi ab divided by 2 plus ab e this is the quantity okay so divided by now this omega is the mean angular rate so we can also use this information but already because based on this we have derived this omega 
so directly we can use this omega is a constant it's a mean angular rate and rate of sweep of area is a constant okay. so uh, either we directly use this or either we use this result will be the same so therefore this delta t this will be pi ab divided by 2 abe divided by omega and then we can insert the value here pi by 2 ab and omega is mu by aq under root so this goes as aq by mu under root also for see one thing also we have to note that this time period this is nothing but pi ab divided by omega this is the whole area of the ellipse area of the ellipse and this is the mean angular rate okay so omega also can be written as pi ab divided by t so where t becomes now the time period this is the time period of the orbit time period of the orbit so uh, either we can go through this so let us go through this route because uh, this will be little simpler to work with uh, we can do it fast so pi ab divided by 2 plus abe and omega we directly put from here you can see the advantage that ab is already here present in this place here so cancellation of the sum of the terms will take place and that makes our life easy working out this problem so this becomes pi by 2 plus ab ab cancels out e by pi times Oh, pi 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 also cancels out. We divide it by. Let us do one more step. We take here t, and then this is pi a b by two pi a b plus a b e divided by pi a b. So this is one more step I have added. So t times pi a b cancels out one by two plus. E B cancels out E by pi. So this is T by two plus T E by pi. So this is your half year. Okay, T by two, the half of the year. T by two. T is the total period of the orbit. then what this quantity will be we have to just insert the value so this is your extra delta t so uh, the time taken so here instead of writing delta t let us write this as t so therefore this quantity where it appears this is the extra time delta t okay. so this extra time delta t then we can write as t equal to 365 E equal to one by sixty divided by one by pi, and this turns out to be around one point nine three nine, and therefore delta t is around two two days. Means two days extra. It's going to take over half the year to cover. the area which is has been orange here in this place which i have shown by a2 which includes again i will draw this area i will mark it by red boundary this area you can see this area from here to here 
to this place. So, this is your A 2 and time taken to this cover this this is T 2 and T 2 is nothing but T by 2 plus 2 extra days approximately. So, and rest of the time it will go over this orbit from this place to this place. So, the, this was a very small problem, uh, but uh, it gives you the concept for working. Uh, we have taken this part here omega equal to 2 pi by t and also this is the corresponding equation, but equally we could have used this also and directly we could have worked and result will be the same. Okay. Once we have done this, now uh, we will get back to uh, the elliptic problem again and uh, uh, there are some standard integrals available in the books. So, those you can utilize to solve the problem for the ellipse hyperbola and uh, parabola. So, if, uh, what we pro we had the problem that it is a given r square theta dot equal to h and this we wrote as d theta by d t r square this can be written like this and this implies d t equal to r square divided by h d theta and this we integrated from 0 to t and this side from 0 to theta or maybe theta 0 to theta both the integration limit you can put. So, for doing this then we replaced l r by l by 1 plus e cos theta. So, this whole a square this a square and So, therefore, we have written this as if we start from t here say the capital T we have written perhaps earlier. So, this gets reduced to L square divided by h d theta by 1 plus e cos theta whole square and the issue was integrating this. So, we did in terms of eccentric anomaly and the benefit was that it got reduced into a simpler format which we call this as the Kepler's equation. So, E minus E sin E. So, from there by integrating we got this equation for the case of ellipse. Okay. Now, if, uh, integrating this there are some uh, standard equations available in textbook on integration. So, I will write that and uh, you can use that also, but uh, this one was more elegant and it showed uh, finally, because our objective was also getting the Kepler's equation in this format whatever we have written here. Okay. So, the uh, process we followed uh, it was intentional. Now, the other way of doing the same problem will be uh, we use this integration say this is d z alpha plus beta cos z whole square. The integration of this quantity this will be alpha a square minus beta a square 3 by 2 2 alpha tan inverse alpha plus beta under root. Here you need to remember this equation okay, that is the difficulty therefore, I have not taken that in the beginning. This is z by 2 okay, tan z by 2 minus beta alpha square minus beta square under root sin z 
beta cos z. So, this is for ellipse, this can be used for ellipse. So, what is the assumption here? Assumption is that alpha is greater than beta, okay. provided this is the assumption, we will write here. Under this assumption, this is valid. Similarly, if you have alpha equal to beta, so in that case, so this case will be applicable to parabola. This will be applicable to parabola, and in this case the simple integration is alpha plus beta cos z ok that was the case of parabola now we have the case of hyperbola in the case of hyperbola the following equation will be applicable and here alpha is less than beta so for this case You can look into a uh, standard textbook. Okay. I am not going to work it uh, this integration particularly here. Uh, we lack a lot of, uh, we have uh, very short time to finish this course. Okay. So, these are the three cases of uh, integration depending on how alpha and beta they differ from each other. Okay. So, considering the first equation this one and from here also we can work out. So, here in this case we assume alpha is greater than beta. So, the case of ellipse now we are going to just work out alpha is greater than beta alpha is greater than beta so if, uh, if we take alpha outside okay, and basically what we are interested in so, uh, we have to express it in this format if we are able to do this our job is done okay. So, we write here beta equal to E and alpha equal to 1, where E is less than 1. Okay. So, therefore, this is satisfied beta will be less than alpha. So, if we do this, so our equation then gets reduced to d theta by 1 plus E cos theta whole square. in this particular equation beta equal to we are writing e and alpha equal to 1. So, this is 1 minus e a square. So, here we get 1 minus e a square to the power 3 by 2.
and uh, rest of the things we have to write here 2 tan inverse alpha equal to 1 beta equal to e here in this place we have to insert all those values. So, 1 minus e 1 plus e under root tan theta by 2 z is replaced by theta here in this case. So, that becomes theta by 2 minus e this beta is replaced by e. So, e 1 minus e square z is replaced by theta. So, we get here sin theta and 1 plus e cos theta. And of course, this quantity is t minus t and we have here also we have the quantity L square by h here present in this case L square divided by h. So, on this side we have to multiply it by L square divided by h. So, we rearrange this part just just this part we have to rearrange to work it out. So, ultimately we have to express it in terms of uh, m we bring uh, this quantity on the left hand side and this will be h times 1 minus e square to the power 3 by 2 divided by l square times t minus t and on the right hand side then we have this whole quantity to be copied. Okay. And this part is simple h equal to mu times l under root 1 minus e square to the power 3 by 2 divided by L square t minus t this is L h s mu to the power 1 by 2 divided by L to the power 3 by 2 1 minus e square to the power 3 by 2 and this quantity as you can see this is nothing but mu to the power 1 by 2 a to the power 3 by 2 which we can write as and uh, obviously one term is missing. So, that term also we add this is t minus t and, uh, mu to the power 1 by 2 divided by and we know this quantity is nothing but n t minus t ok. We are what information we are using? We, we have used L equal to a times 1 minus c a square and n equal to mu by a cube under root mu by a cube under root as we have used earlier. So, this information we are utilizing. So, left hand side then here in this equation gets reduced to m. So, therefore, you get here this m equal to n times t minus t and on the right hand side then whole thing we have to copy from this place which is 2 tan inverse 2 tan inverse 1 plus e 1 minus e under root tan theta by 2 minus e times 1 minus e square times sin theta. So, this expression is for ellipse. The same way the second equation if we use here this particular one so, we get the equation for the parabola. So, 
So, if we take alpha equal to beta equal to 1, okay. so in this case beta is equal to E equal to 1 for the case of parabola, this case it, here itself we can write it in short. So, you can see that the uh, and z it, we replace with theta. So, we can see this uh, here uh, the square is missing, this is square we have to put it here, the square is missing. Okay. For the case of here also the square has is missing, we have to put the square. Okay, so, if we utilize this, so you can see that this gets reduced to d theta divided by 1 plus cos theta whole square equal to 1 by 2 tan theta by 2 plus 1 by 6 tan to the power q theta by 2. Okay. So, we know once this quantity can be written like this. So, it becomes easy therefore, we can take the case of parabola. Okay. So, t minus t equal to L a square divided by h as we have done here L a square divided by h the rest of the things they appear as 1 by plus e cos theta whole a square and this quantity is known to us. Okay. So, we can utilize it and if this part we take it on the left hand side. So, that gets reduced to h by L a square this gets reduced to t minus t d theta by 1 plus e cos theta whole a square and we know this quantity is nothing but Oh, one more part here. Yeah, uh, this part we do not write as m because one minus e square was also there. So we have to take care of that. We simply write it this way, and on the right hand side, then we uh, put the whole thing. So, right hand side here in this case will be one by two times one by two times tan theta by two. tan theta by 2 plus 1 by 6 times tan to the power q theta by 2. Okay, so uh, So, this way uh, we will be able to uh, work out the whole problem. Okay. And uh, obviously, the way we want to express a h equal to mu times l under root and therefore, this divided by L a square, this will be divided by L a square here. So, this becomes mu under root divided by L to the power and in this case, this comes as and perhaps we have uh, obtained the same equation uh, using the normal integration process earlier. Uh, I will just check once.
Okay, so earlier we have written the equation. Uh, just I will repeat there. We have written t minus t equal to h q divided by two mu a square, and then tan theta by two plus one by three tan to the power q theta by two. So these two we have we are now taking it inside. So this becomes one by two, and this will become one by six. this is 2 here. So, only part remaining is uh, this thing h cube and mu a square. So, if we take it on the left hand side, so that becomes mu a square by h cube times t minus t. This is other part. Okay. So, if, uh, if we try to reduce it, so here in this case, uh, we have written in terms of uh, here this part mu by l cube as we can express or h by l square whatever the way we want to express. So, say if we eliminate uh, here in this case uh, let us say we eliminate h. So, it should get reduced to this format. Okay. So, this mu a square and h equal to mu times l under root. Okay. So, this becomes 3 by 2 t minus t and therefore, this becomes mu to the power 1 by 2 and l to the power 3 by 2 times t minus t. So, we get the same term. Okay. So, this is by usual integration process we got and this we have got by uh, using the standard equation given in the text. So, there is no difference between a this uh, either this or that Bo both way it is uh, the same, but in one case you have to remember uh, the equation another case you can derive if you know a little bit of the integration process. Okay, so, this way uh, we complete this lecture here and I turn back to uh, the same issue. Uh, uh, that is we are going to write the equation for the ellipse again, because the hyperbola I will take at the end not uh, right now. So, once we finish this part we are uh, going to take the case of the hyperbola. So, already we have written the equation for the hyperbola uh, using the standard equation from the uh, your integration textbook. So, uh, thank you very much for listening and we will continue in the next lecture.